Good afternoon and welcome to the channel, The Vaping Piper. I hope you're all doing well. Well, it's the time of the year that uh, here in the business we're sort of winding down towards the end, you know, the holiday, the festive season. Uh, so it's a bit quieter and um, yeah, so I'm taking the opportunity to um, try out another blend that is actually quite fitting for this time of the year. And this is, of course, the Gowers Hogarth uh, Seasonal Reserve. And uh, yeah, let's focus. See, I covered this bit here. Um, yeah. You know, when you get tins from the US, you don't have all these disgusting uh, warnings and all sorts of uh, um, anything but tobacco. In England and Europe, and uh, mainly in England, uh, you've got all these um, warning. In Europe as well, you get these warnings, but at least it's in different language. So, you, you know, you don't know what it says really. But uh, here in the UK, uh, if you're not from the UK, there's some disgusting um oh, really really not <laughs> anyway so um but the content is uh, what's what's in this tin is most important right um so i i um, recorded a video on the corn cob pipe and the little and what was it again called and the bottom nose uh, that I reviewed, uh, I think that was the last video or one uh, one before. I can't remember the, how in which order was uploaded. But this one um, is called an deal, um, as well as a fairly seasonal uh, type of tobacco. is a big hit here. I must tell you, the chocolate, the cocoa, and the marshmallow um, is absolutely d delicious. And also the leaves, the Virginias, the various types of Virginia and the white burley, whatever. It, the natural flavoring of the tobacco is not in contrast with the toppings. And it works really well in harmony to deliver you a very uh, delicious smoke. A moorishing rather, that's what I think I said when I reviewed it. So we'll see how this fares up. Uh, because this is a classic English um, aromatic. I love English blends, yes, but aromatic English, well, let's find out. So I already opened this tin and sort of it's an empty tin at the moment, but it comes in this type of, as you've seen it a million times before, and your tobacco will be in here. Um, and I put it already in my mason jar, um, labeled, all done. So, um, very much looking forward to try this blend. Uh, I heard quite a lot about it because I know a lot of people enjoy this, especially, um, you know, the more seasoned pipe tobacco smokers uh, and a lot of um, fine English gentlemen who love this blend, especially um, in this time of the year and all day i suppose but it's sort of it's a seasonal type of thing now this is um the 2022 uh christmas edition and um apparently they only produce a certain amount uh i think maybe a thousand tins i'm not 100 percent sure but interesting enough it's um still available in a certain uncertain uh tobacconist but not so easy to find. Quite a few are out of stock. Um, obviously now it's 2023. Um, so I'm not sure if they'll come out with a 2023 edition, but this is the 2022. Now, um, it comes in a ready rubbed um, leaf, but it's fairly long strands, as you can see. Um, and the moisture level is actually spot on. Now, this is a year old, of course. And the smell, the cherry, is very evident in this blend. Very evident. Now, I don't know if I'm probably, I'll mention it whenever I, I smoke a cherry blend. My uh, grandfather used to smoke a pipe. I think I mentioned it in one of my previous videos. Um, and his blend was a 
cherry uh, cherry blend, but I'm not sure which one it was. Um, but that smell, every time I smell a cherry aromatic, uh, brings me back fond memories. And um, yeah, he lived to 100 and nearly 103. And uh, yeah, so yeah, he passed away a few years ago. But I was very close to him, especially in my younger years. Um, and that smell of that manly smell of tobacco was is etched in my mind. So whenever I smell a cherry, it brings me back. Yeah, smell has got tremendous power to bring one back memories. Anyway, so the smell here is very much a cherry oriented, of course. I can't really smell. Um, there's a bit of almond here as well, a bit of vanilla. So I can smell the toppings really, but the, the tobacco itself is not so easy to detect on the smell. So what is the blend description? A mixture of bright flu cured and dark fired Cavendish Virginias. Blended with a naturally sweet sun cured burley leaf and married, uh, married with vanilla cherry and almond flavors, mild and aromatic. So I can smell the almond, I can smell the cherry, I can smell a bit the creamy vanilla. Uh, maybe a bit of nutty in here. Not much of a smell of the natural leaf. So uh, I've got my Savinelli that I do very much enjoy smoking aromatics and I don't care about ghosting whatsoever. If I smoke a blend in here, this one here, I can smoke afterwards. This one is, I don't care if it's a bit of, in fact, I don't mind it at all. It adds a bit of a dimension. Oop, let me switch up the sound here. Um, so yeah, I don't mind ghosting whatsoever. So yeah, so let's pack the pipe. And I'm very much looking forward for this. Put me in the mood. Um, and enjoy the flavors. I wonder if you all smoke in certain times of the year, certain, you know, when it gets cold, a lot of people like the Latakia blends. Um, I don't have that problem. I can smoke any blend anytime. I don't have a, in the mornings, I do like my English blends, yes. Um, in the mornings with the first coffee, for instance. Um, but otherwise, I, uh, yeah. Whichever blend I fancy, I smoke, doesn't make a difference what time of the year it is, or yeah. So, um, let's light it up and see what we think. Oh, taste nice. You can taste the cherry, that's for sure. Let's give it another light. Mm. Mm, I can taste a bit of that, a bit of a citrusy note here from the Virginia. But the toppings is what comes forward, so we'll talk that in a minute. But it's fairly mild, it's not overpowering at all. A bit of roasted nuttiness. Uh, maybe that is with the almond topping, but it's like a roasted nuttiness in here. A bit of earthiness, not so much breadiness in here at all. And that cherry vanilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very nice, actually. Now, it's somewhat different than the US type of aromatics. It's a bit milder on the toppings. Although here is very complex. I'm not comparing them. I don't like comparing blends because each each blend has got its own character and its own flavor profile. Um, there's no point comparing. Yeah, they're all the same um, leaf, but differently done or different type of leaf or you know, different toppings, I don't like comparing. But when you talk about English aromatics, 
and also goes to European aromatics versus American aromatics is a difference because the American aromatics are normally more of a topping and the English is more of a casing. Uh, that's in my opinion. I wonder if you differ. But certainly those, um, uh, you know, those um, bulk bought tobacco um, from the US um, of very, very strong and aromatics that I enjoy. I got a sweet tooth. Yeah. And new pipe smokers, by the way, would enjoy that, those sort of blends because they'll taste the topping straight away. So the mild fruitiness here of the cherry and the creamy vanilla is coming sort of in the back note. But what you get first is that roasted nuttiness. A bit of earthiness and like a citrusy forward slash floral note. Yeah. It's a very nice aromatic, um, not overpowering at all. It's a fairly mild blend. What else can I tell you about this? So the Virginia is is delivering a um, bit of a, I think the nuttiness is coming more from the burley. So because you got here, the <clears throat> you, doc, you got here the naturally sweet sun cured burley leaf. So that's giving you a nice nuttiness. Now the topping of the almond is giving you sort of a, you're tasting like a nearly a roasted almond um, flavor to it. not lighting up very well because I think I should have left it to dry a bit longer so sometimes by touch um, alone you can't really tell uh, the moist level see they say if you pinch it right say if you pinch it you make a round and it does and it falls apart slowly then you know it's the right um, moist um, consistency on it but if it falls apart too quick then it's too dry I thought it was perfect um, perfect but obviously it needed a bit more relighting mm, I got now a blast of cherry now the vanilla is very much mild here. It's mainly the cherry and this almond. Um, but it's not, uh, um, you won't be able to tell this is an almond flavor. It gives you like a nuttiness. The smell does smell almond. Very much so. Almond and cherry. But the smoke itself is less pronounced on the almond, is more sort of a nuttiness you get this like a roast roasted nuttiness to it maybe that has to do with the fire cured the dark fired Cavendish Virginias now Cavendish normally you get sort of like a more of earthy musty um, molasses type of flavor but here it's lacking you don't get really a uh, you know that really earthy Cavendish sort of brown sugar type of sweetness to it no it is a milder Cavendish. Yeah, sometimes you have to relight and relight, maybe because I'm talking while I'm doing this. Very nice, um, mild aromatic. <coughs> Whoa! <coughs> I retro inhaled the wrong way. 
sort of swallow the smoke instead of retro inhaling. <coughs> When you retro inhale, you do get a bit more of that cherry um, and that naughtiness that comes through. Which one I prefer? Um, to be honest, I know a lot of people would prefer the milder version of aromatic, more the natural. You get, it, it's a mild aromatic than, for instance, the corn cob. Uh, because maybe the corn cup is sort of more on the cocoa and the uh, cream and the uh, marshmallow. So it's a different type of, it's more of a nourishing, warming uh, smoke, very suitable for this time of the year. This is sort of, it gives you the classic um, cherry vanilla with a bit of almond, but you, you taste a bit the natural flavoring of the leaf. But I think the corn cob has got so much more in it uh, in regards of the natural, because it's got a few Virginias in here and it's got white burley as well. Um, it's just a bit more involving with the natural flavoring of the actual tobacco itself. And then you get that very nourishing topping that is very delicious. That actually, I mentioned in the review that uh, Jeremy Reeves has created a syrup of marshmallow and some special blend of chocolate it does come evident in the smoke this is sort of more of a classic mild um, cherry vanilla almond aromatic with a good quality virginia and a burley yeah I suggest that you leave it to dry a bit longer than I did. Yeah, oh, that's going now. Now the room note is a very pleasant room note. I can smell it. It's a classic smell of aromatic pipe tobacco that a lot of people find, including myself, very uh, pleasing. And um, your wife, well, your better half, let's put it this way, uh, would enjoy this smell as well. It does smell pleasant and aromatic. I'm now halfway down the bowl and I'm getting a bit more of that nuttiness. Uh, the citrusy note of the Virginia is a bit more evident. And I'm getting a bit more of a grassy, a bit grassy, earthy. Hmm. Very nice blend. That a lot of people would enjoy. Because they don't want the overpowering um, aromatics, uh, especially the American ones. And they want something mild. So they want the natural flavoring of the leaf with a bit of a touch of cherry vanilla and the almond it is very nice. It comes to me, to my palate, as a more of a, like a roasted um, nutty flavor to it. Okay, I think I have covered it. If you smoke this blend, I would love to hear your views. What, what do you think of it? Um, yeah. I always like to hear other smokers' feedback. Now, I would like to take the opportunity to thank uh, my staff here that they allow me to record my reviews uh, either on the vaping channel or on the pipe and tobacco that you're watching now. Uh, if not for the help uh, of editing and doing everything besides me talking on the video, they actually look after the whole lot, the, the photos, the edit, um, all the inserts and all the information, everything from A to Z besides my recordings. I record and leave it to them and they do everything. And they do it on their own time. And I very much appreciate their help. Without their help, I wouldn't be able to review anything. I've got a busy schedule. So 
they take off a huge load and they go along with my hobby and they um, yeah really really helpful so I want to thank them now uh, yeah they deserve it and I want to thank you uh, my subscribers my viewers for um, tuning into this channel and to keep it interesting otherwise I'm talking to myself so and I want to thank you all for every, every, everyone's comments and feedback and inputs very uh, appreciated and uh, yeah I've got quite a few videos still to upload to record some recorded and haven't done yet so hopefully the coming year will be interesting in regards of content uh, I'm definitely looking forward um, I enjoy pipe smoking enormously I said so many times besides the enjoyment of the smoke it is a relaxing affair not so much when I'm recording but I smoke of course after the recording and sometimes before um, and on different occasions um, and those I, I enjoy 100% I enjoy my videos as well I enjoy sharing so all in all it's a very enjoyable uh, hobby of mine that I really much enjoy and uh, yeah so you guys have got a big part in it to keep it uh, interactive and uh, interesting yeah so uh, I'll take this opportunity to wish you all happy holidays and a happy new year I'm not sure exactly when this is going to be uploaded but I think it's going to be uploaded towards the end of the year So yeah, there'll be quite a few more pipes to come and blends and all sorts. So I'm looking forward to that. So I wish you all a um, um, enjoy your holidays and have a, a, a happy new year and a prosperous, uh, healthy year. Yeah, and uh, the 2024 should be a better year than 2023 worldwide. Uh, yeah, I don't want to carry on too much. So this is going to be, this is it. Uh, for my blessings so um, yeah everyone should enjoy with their own families and and enjoy it it's it's one of those very important things to share with family and friends and it's uh, uh, very important to strengthen bonds uh, between families between friends and between uh, mankind I suppose so let's hope it all works well for everyone and until the next vid video I'm gonna carry on enjoying this blend properly and all the guys will want to share it now and everyone's going to tell me the verdict which one they prefer <laughs> yeah a lively debate so um until the next video take care enjoy the holidays happy new year to everyone and see you very soon on the next video bye bye for now